As I said at the beginning of this video, well-being isn't just about being physically well. It's not about being mentally well. It's not just about being socially well. It's about being all three and being a nice, even blend of all three. So when I say an even blend, let's look at this Venn diagram that I have. So this would be physical well-being, this is your mental well-being, and your social well-being. All of which are incredibly important, but you can kind of see the little blend. So let's look at physical well-being. So physical well-being might be exercise or drinking water. But do you think that it could also be, I don't know, earlier I talked about wearing deodorant. Do you think putting on deodorant is going to help you make more friends and better relationships? Yeah. Because nobody really wants to be friends with a stinky friend. Let's be honest. I was the stinky friend for a little while. So, let's move on over in the way of mental, well mental wellness. Excuse me. So mental wellness might be something like, I don't know, uh, being outside. Enjoying nature. Nature is really relaxing. Uh, to those of you that don't know what nature is, nature is the thing that's outside your house. Um, you can, there's different levels of nature. There's, you know, going to like a national forest. I personally like the Allegheny National Forest, uh, way up in Forest County. But uh, you don't have to go that far. You can go to Brady's Run. Brady's Run is a forest that gets you really close to nature. Um, you can also, I don't know, you can be positive. Ooh, positive. Learn how to spell positive, Mr. Brown. So, you can be positive. Just having an uplifting spirit, an uplifting feeling of joyousness, that's going to help you feel better at heart. You're going to help raise your self-esteem. Instead of just focusing on, bad, on all the bad things in life, it'll help you uh, and just to... Uh, it'll help you... It'll help you feel better. Now, if you're trying to feel better, Another way you can do that is by being social. So, like, talking to someone about your feelings. That's another way. That's a good blend of both. You're, uh, you're talking about how you feel, so you're communicating, hopefully effectively, good communication with others. And you're also being social. You're making a relationship with somebody else, be it a parent, a sibling, or even just a friend, or even, I don't know, a teacher. Um, you can make a relationship with anybody, any person in the entire world. It's not just about, oh, boyfriend, girlfriend, or husband, wife. A relationship is just a bond between two people. And so that's one way that you can, you can build bonds, by having trust and trusting each other. I know earlier in the video I talked about being responsible, uh, being compassionate being trustworthy, those are all different ways that you can help build those bonds. Uh, do, 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 do. You can also, you know, um, just go outside for activity. I, I told you earlier uh, in this video that I'm a runner. I love to go out and run. I run roads. Um, sometimes I'll run in the woods. It depends on, you know, what I'm feeling that day. It depends every single day. And you know, it might be a matter of going out and playing baseball if you're a baseball player. Uh, if you like a swim, going for a swim. It could be, I don't know, outdoor table tennis or regular tennis. I know Beaver has tennis courts, um, tennis rackets. I don't think are super expensive if you go to like Dick's Sporting Goods or Dunham's up in Chippewa. All kinds of different ways to be active for relatively inexpensive. And it's, it's all around you. And, oh my goodness, I totally forgot about just being social. Being social, I mean, the easy one. Um, hanging with friends or family. So I know right now we're going through a uh, medical pandemic. Um, and so right now we oftentimes feel trapped with our families. This is a great time to create bonds with our parents, with our siblings, uh, grandparents, aunts, uncles, whoever you might be around often. 
uh, in self-isolation while social distancing, of course. Uh, it's, this is a great time to, make, to be making those bonds with other people. Um, just learning how to be with others, learning how to disagree uh, and conflict resolute, which means getting over your problems with others. This is a great time to work on those skills. Um, right now you might feel kind of isolated. You might feel like you can't talk to others. And that's where you're wrong. We're in the technology age. You can FaceTime. I know everybody has an iPhone. Or you can Skype. Zoom is a new popular uh, face chatting tool. It's, it's all about figuring out how to talk to your friends. You can do like a, a group phone call or Snapchat. Snapchat uh, all your friends. If you're in like a group message on Snapchat, you can talk to everybody. It's a face chat. And it's really quick and simple. Everybody gets the call and everybody can join. And that's a great way that you can be social with others while you are alone in your bedroom or alone in your kitchen or whatnot. And so last is our nice center spot. And I'm going to use a nice green for that. And I'm sure you all can figure it out. Probably a little blend of each. Mental, so being outside, being physically active with others. So let's say team sports. And of course, and just a disclaimer, these aren't the only ways that they all blend. It, there's infinite numbers of ways that these all these all uh, blend together. This is just me thinking. Uh, this is just me putting writing on board. Uh, be active with others outside. Um, I know the other day I went. I was actually at uh, the place that I usually like to run, um, and one of my one of my buddies from high school came by, and he was also on the cross country team with me. He's like, "Hey, hey what's up, uh, Mr. Brown?" And I was like, "Hey, what's up, Joan? How are you?" And so we went for a run together. Now, granted, we maintained that social distance, but we were outside together. We were talking to each other. We were just having a good time, and it wasn't even planned. It just happened that way. Um, but it's just all about finding that blend of all three and being well in your entire life. Um, my challenge for you is to find a way to be well. Uh, try something new in these next couple days, weeks, however long we might be in a situation like this. Do your best to be as well as you can. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to Mrs. Horwatt. I know her email um, you have, is posted somewhere. Talk to any teacher, talk to your family, talk to somebody that you trust if you feel like uh, you're struggling in any one of these three areas. I know a way to, to find some sort of normalcy today um, in this time is just focus on getting up at the same time. Uh, so I know, for instance, Slip Rock University, every, all the classes are happening at the same time, so everybody's schedule is still the same. So try focusing on that. Wake up in the morning at whatever time you would get up for school. Go take a shower, if that's what you do. Brush your teeth, get ready for school, get dressed, put on regular clothing. Uh, I know I have been wearing sweatpants and a baggy hoodie for the last couple days. This week, I started over. I've been waking up at 5 o'clock in the morning. I go out for a run or do some sort of exercise in my basement. And then I start my day. I get a shower, brush my teeth, deodorant, and I put on regular clothing, like a shirt or jeans. I'm wearing jeans right now. Socks. Socks is a big one you don't realize. But try to keep that normalcy in your life, something that you didn't have before. Um, or not, not, I'm sorry, I take that back. Try to find what you did have before. Try to find that, uh, try, to, try to find what, how things were. I know sometimes, in times like this, it's not easy to be well. It's not easy to socialize because we can't go out and hang out with our friends. It's not always easy to be physically active because we might have a gym membership that that's what we were using. It might not be easy to have that high self-esteem when you're not getting ready in the morning. My challenge to you is to try to find a blend of all three. Find something in your life that you can control and control it. Stay safe, all you cool cats and kittens. Can't believe I just did that.